And welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be installing all of the cooling components for the engine. Here I have some bolts that hold on the water pump housing. And as you can see, they're looking pretty rusty and crusty here. So I'm just going to let them sit in some rust dissolver and see what it can do. Like always, I'm using brake parts cleaner and coffee filter just to clean off the surface right here and try to get off the paint from when the block was painted. Now that the o-ring is in place, I can apply a very thin layer of silicone around this water pump housing. It's very important that you only apply a thin layer of silicone here because there is a passageway in which air needs to get past and if you were to lay down a thick bead of silicone there's a chance you could block off this passageway. So just be really careful with the silicone in this area. It's been about 45 minutes since I put these bolts inside of the rust dissolver and as you can see they look great now. So I'm going to pull them out, rinse them off and put them on the engine. To be honest I really couldn't find a torque spec for this thing so I just set my torque wrench at 20 pound feet and left it at that. In case you're wondering, I'm using an RSX Type S water pump housing as well as the water pump and that's why I could utilize the OEM oil cooler. If you're going to use the OEM stuff that came with the K24, it's not going to have this oil cooler. Well, at least my K24A4 didn't. Uh, this little elbow right here, which is for the oil cooler, you can see it's looking uh, pretty crusty here. It has a lot of oxidation on it. So what I ended up doing is taking it off and I chucked it inside of the rust dissolver. And after about 30 minutes, it looked like a brand new part. So I was really impressed with that. The bolts that hold down this thermostat don't have to be torqued down like crazy. It's actually really easy to damage this plastic housing. So what I found just works best is turn the bolts until they pretty much stop and leave it at that. 
let the gasket do its work here. Uh, the nice thing about this thermostat is that you could swivel it in any direction that you need to accommodate, uh, you know, the hose that you're going to run or where you're going to put your radiator. So it's actually a really nice piece. One piece of advice I could give you is to thread in the block off plug that goes right here. Do it right now while the piece is off the car because after you install it, you're either going to have to take it back off to do it or it's going to be a pain in the butt to install. Just like the thermostat, you only want to run in these bolts until they stop. Let the O-ring do its work here. Here I'm using silicone spray and it's great for situations like this. It makes installing rubber hoses very easy. The nice thing about it is that it evaporates quickly. So it's not going to be inside of your system or anything like that. I actually found this piece to be very annoying and difficult to work with. I'm not sure why they designed it with so many moving parts, but I guess it's to accommodate different situations. But at this point, because I don't have the valve cover in place, I'm not really going to you know, go ahead and torque it down very tight. Obviously, no fluids are going in it right now, so it's not really an issue. But uh, once the system is ready to be 100% uh, put together and put the fluids in it, I will make sure it's in its correct location and again torque everything down. I don't have a wrench large enough to fit this right here so I'm just going to tighten it by hand for now and come back to it later. This oil cooler is another piece off of the RSX Type S. It's just another piece of the puzzle that you're going to need to get this OEM oil cooler set up on the engine.
For this piece, I pretty much just torqued it down until it stopped. At a certain point, you're just going to feel like you hit a wall and it won't let you turn any further and you can just leave it at that. Now this little piece right here is actually off of a S2000. So yeah, you're going to have to source out a few different parts in order to get this whole system to work. Now of course at this point it doesn't need an oil filter but I'm just going to go ahead and slap one on it anyway just to prevent any uh, debris or dust from getting inside of there. And uh, I know I'm going to be hurting someone's feelings right now by putting a Hyundai filter on a Honda. But hey it is what it is. Now I'm just joking. I just had that laying around I just thought it would be funny. Uh, I got this mobile one filter also just laying around and it happens to fit uh, on this engine. so. I'm gonna slap it on here and I did go on the dealer website and order an OEM filter so I'm just waiting for that to come in. Now of course this is not part of the cooling system but I have the parts here and I really just want to keep on moving forward with this and putting all these parts on and it's just so pretty. <clears throat> I mean you know it's cool whatever. And that's it for this video so if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you're considering subscribing don't forget to hit that notification bell and like always thanks for watching.